Well, hello there, everybody. Hey, it's Johnny Petro again. Today, I'm going to show you how to make ropes, suspension cords, wires, and some fast moving action of the cars going by on the bridge. And you have to do it very nice and slow. You know what we've done? Very nice and good. You gotta apply your brush with some water right here, and then you go in and see this. See how I'm doing this? It's very, very subtle. You gotta go over this very slow. Okay? There you go. You're making a moving action between cars. All you need is water, a uh, paintbrush, and there you go. Now I applied. Now I took my T square. And I made it so that you could see it, but we're gonna, as of today, we're gonna be doing it live right out in front of you. Yeah, um, first of all, you take a little down here, a little black, and you get out your tea square too. Make sure it's dry first. Make sure you're ready to go here. Make sure you're okay with where it is. Okay, oh, no, 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 you gotta make sure that. Okay, there you go. Okay. Now, see what we painted in our our girders going along right here, where that, you know, curve, where that arch line is, I would say, that half arch. We're gonna make more ropes coming down just to end up to uh, support the branch. Now we go in. And this is the type of paint we're using today. Now if you would see it from here, I'm just going to zoom in and, oh, there we go. Wow, that's good lighting, I'll say. Okay, we're using a little bit of a touch of white and black and a little bit of cadmium yellow. And, you know, you don't want to mix that together because, like you see here, that's the mistake. You don't want to make green. Okay, back to our canvas. You get to watch in action how I can construct a bridge using T-squares in its corporate design. Okay, now bear with me if you can't see it. I'll try and make it so that hey, you can look at it while I'm doing it. Okay, and just deep breaths and draw down. It has to be two ropes at a time, step by step. Take a look at your progress and okay. Scoot that over a bit. Now, uh, since this is moving in perspective, uh, apply back to your reference photo. You should always keep your T square right to where you need to be. And draw downwards. There you go. Make sure it's even too. And uh, let's just correct that. Okay, and now you're going to make at least two at a time, step by step. straight down like this, and then just draw it down like that. If you need to keep it straight now, straight and steady. Go ahead and move on down, and there you go. Hey, look at that, fine lines, huh? Just a little joke, so the joke that is. Okay, keep drawing the lines. Then after we draw our lines, we'll have some highlights, and we'll get on the rest of the show. Now here's the point where we need to take our T-square down. Always remember to keep this stuff as straight as you can. It can get off balance if you're not careful, guys. You can be very vigilant and very careful. I mean very careful and most of you can see. Hold it against you. Okay, now we go. 
by the way, let's correct that a bit. Now, as I'm teaching, try and take note that as I'm drawing this, uh, make sure that you have to remember that not all your yeah, not all your straight lines are going to be straight. So you may want to go back in, fill or brush or whatever. lines in the foreground will come at you like that. There's little details right here you just cannot miss. Yep, yeah, I have a good eye for this stuff. We'll scratch that out too. Another tip, if you're ever painting straight lines, use your pinky finger as the supporting point on the picture, but don't get it dirty. Now as you can see, we're going to zoom in and show you what I have done. Now that's a fine looking support line right there. Nice girders, nice arch, very good proportion. This bridge is going to make cars soar through past it right on there. Gonna zoom out a bit. And we'll just finish painting the rest. But one other thing you must clean up here is the square two. You clean it off like this, use a uh, paper towel, get it all wet. And then you just dry it off like that. You should never want to paint over a canvas with a T-square that has black paint all covered on it. Okay, you want to get as much as off as you can get. And then get it back over here. And then set that aside. Now, if you're ever wanting to know what type of paint I'm using, I'm using Liquitex Black Gesso. Yeah, I can describe it to you. Black colored gesso. Its brand is Liquitex. And you can get it from you know, Hobby Lobby, Pecatans, or maybe you could find it at Blake Art Store, maybe not. But it's out there. Okay, back to our. What time is it? Okay, it's only like 6. It's only like 5.30 right now, so. Continue on. Ready to continue on, there's no need to rush. And all you beginners out there, please keep in mind you can pause this video if you feel you have to, okay? If you want to uh, follow a complete step by step guide. I mean, this stuff is uh, not easy work. You gotta be very proportionate, very consistent, and very accurate with your strokes of paint. You wanna keep this straight down as you have to. It's it's tough and you want to keep it as consistent and clean as you have to. And of course you can always you gotta let it dry too. Keep it down as close as you can 
Cat. that off and it's a lot more straighter now. Wouldn't you say, yeah, that's a lot more straight. Yeah, we're going to draw the other rope down here and you still have to be accurate. Keep washing it off as you go. Uh, don't forget, you can, you know, kind of switch up the uh, T squares. You don't always have to use the same T square guys. You can always switch them up. Look at that! Isn't that straight? Just the way you need to be. Hmm. Now you may want to set that aside and just clear up a tiny little brush. And. The